sort of balance it out a little bit so they're not so sticking out so far. Then you need to remove the insulation that's on these ends because you, now you do need to make contact with that wire. There's a couple ways to do it. Uh, seems like I find myself using a pocket knife all the time. So you can do it like this with a pocket knife. That's one way. The only problem with that is you have to find a place where you can keep going around in circles. You know, the edge of a table. Alright, that's one way. Uh, some people try to use their strippers, which I don't recommend because it really mutilates the wire. But they'll sort of give it that number, which I don't recommend. But the best way is a rough sandpaper. It's the best way because you can just sort of fold it over and you just fold it over, put the wire in it, just gently rub it back and forth until you get it. And just keep twisting around, and you'll know because it'll turn shiny copper color. Instead of this bright orange red color, twist it. It really does a good job. But it has to be very clean because it's going to spin on a piece of metal. And obviously, if there's any insulation, it won't get contact. So there it is. You can see and I am once again. And each kiss. See that sanded off real tight up in here so you can, you know, you don't want to put it way out here because of the leverage, the weight of it. Same thing on this side. Okay, so basically you sand that, sand that, leave the rest, rest of it alone. Okay, so now all this is is a basic motor core or coil. It, it is the what you know is hidden away inside of motors that you don't really see because of the housing. Uh, they're built different and all that but this is simple so you can understand the principle of it. For this to fit across, like this, so that you have something to, for it to lean on, balance on. And of course it needs to be able to spin, so that's pretty good for a first time. It's very wobbly, very loose, very simple, but it's working, so that's good enough. So that'll give you a good idea of how this is going to work. It's actually going to give it the spin as a magnet. So we put the magnet underneath the coil. Dick to there's ways to do this just like I say it's temporary you can build it a lot more firm that's the main thing that everything's just sort of loose okay that looks good it's nice and free flowing then if you were to put a current which take a 9 volt battery hook the other ends of these leads to it Okay, and there it goes. 
So basically, now you just have a current that's running, a DC current that's running between is you have connection by just gravity holding it down and basically you have north and south pole if you turn that magnet or obviously if you pull the magnet out the motor stop running you can even go as far as putting it on top on the side Just put it on top. how you hold that magnet in there, depending on how you, which way it's pointing, you know. So that's the basic motor principle, being pushed away. You know, if you look at this magnet that, we, that we're using here, it has, there's distance between here and here, so you can create a pull effect and a push effect. And then that gives it the influence momentum. So if you have something little like this, it just it's hard to do. You can set them up so you get some distance on the end of this if you had something flat. Okay, this is a large neodymium magnet, one on each side. But anyways, when you put this one, it's so big and powerful. You can see it if you if you. Turn it just right, there's enough distance from the top to the bottom of the big and If you watch it, it really pulls it. And then when you get it turned just right to where the fields are, really get it going. So as you can see, you're not putting any more current. It's the same exact battery, same setup. The only difference here is the magnet. So obviously you're getting more you're gonna get more work out of this motor, and because the magnet's doing so much work, you're gonna use a lot less power. So this is one of the little hints to the secret of basically what you hear them talking about with over unity, which is where you get more work you get more work you put you get more out of the system work-wise than what you actually put in. So once again, it's leaning toward the neodymium magnet. It's not so much about the your power source or whatever. It's about how this motor is going to is built. And the bigger the magnet, the faster it spins. It's spinning so fast that it and so hard that it it can't even stay on its groove. So. see that thing almost just levels right out with that trying to stick to it. This tries to stick to it just like a magnet. Pull, actually pulling it. So you can see as I move it. 